If you were honest about wanting to build community, you'd be focusing on divestment, but you're not because you're full of fucking shit. If you cared about student safety, you would have denounced Israel's genocide of Palestinians. You emboldened genocide. You emboldened racists. You emboldened Zionists. And you endanger students. You don't get to play uninvolved and and dumb and useless and shocked when acts of hate hate happens at Rutgers and then also hold all this power. If you can't do your job, step the fuck down. You don't deserve to hold the power that you do because you're abusing it. You should be controlling the endowment. We should be. You motherfuckers in suits, you're all psychopaths and you're actively manufacturing a shitty fucking world for us all. You laughing? You think it's funny? I don't know how you live with yourself, honestly. Fuck your norms. Fuck your notions of decorum with your glasses of water all sitting around the room. You didn't even hold space for us to come in. There's dignity for yourself and no one else. No dignity for Palestinians. No dignity for the students who are ignored and endangered. No dignity for faculty when you threaten them with firing if they speak out against the obvious. Fuck your notions of respectability. You're not respectable people. I have no respect for you. Your ideas of what is normal is what got us into this mess in the first fucking place where we're invested in genocide. You think it's normal and acceptable to be funding and profiting off of genocide. You made us do all this work of drafting a 56-page fucking document formally arguing that investing in human rights violations goes against university mission and policy. Why the fuck do we even have to do that? And there's only a vague standard for investment is that the investment has to follow Rutgers mission. So I'm going to ask you about Rutgers mission. Is it in line with Rutgers mission to intentionally target civilian infrastructure? To force people to eat grass? To use tents as sanitary pods? To have C-sections with no anesthesia and no antiseptic? And then, and then we're collaborating with Tel Aviv University for a Helix Hub in the name of progress and innovation and medicine. How do you not see the hypocrisy in that? 